like to do next is we'll, we'll take a look at the foot of the horse here. And we'll take a look at using both of these products in combination with each other, and they can. And both of these products can be used on barefoot horses, shod horses. It, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Now, when we talk about the hoof clay, we're primarily going to use the hoof clay where we've got some hoof wall defects, old nail holes, and, and, and when we take a look at the front foot of this particular horse here, he's got some old nail holes and he's got some cracks and chipping, so I'm just going to kneel down here and I'm going to take a little bit of the hoof clay and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to push that into these areas, the old nail holes, number one. And then we also have a little chipping right here that I'm going to push a little of the hoof clay into as well. And then the next thing I'd like to do is actually pick up the foot of the horse. And when we do that, I'm going to ask him to pick his foot up. And I've already picked the foot, so I'm going to take a little clay here and I'm going to hit either side of the frog. And we don't have to build it up tremendously. We're just going to push that in. We're going to get a coating in the commissures on either side of the frog. And I'm going to work a little bit back in the central sulcus of the frog as well. So that's what we do with the hoof clay. Now, if the horse had been barefoot, and we had no shoes and we had some problems in the white line area, we could simply come in here, clean that area, and take our finger and push that into that area as well. Of course, with the shoe, we can actually apply the product underneath the shoe itself. So the next product I'd like to follow up with and finish this particular foot is the farrier's finish. Uh, I use a secondary container myself, and this happened to be an old measuring cup from years ago that used to be included in our farrier formula pails. And basically I squirt in, oh, three or four ounces of product, and you can actually see the product itself. Uh, and then I like to start underneath the foot for that first application. And then I'll let the foot down and, and, and cover the hoof wall at that point. So we'll ask uh, Jake to pick up his foot one more time. Come on, buddy, okay. And then we're just going to take the brush and we're just going to cover the bottom of the foot with the product right on top of the clay. That's all we need. All right, I'm going to let the foot down. And then we're going to concentrate on the hoof wall itself. So I'm going to start here at the coronary band. And we're going to go all the way around and apply this product. And that product is going right on top of the hoof clay itself. This product will actually penetrate into the hoof wall itself and actually carry the active ingredients where it needs to be. So one foot down.